Welcome to the Gentleman's Gazette. In today's video, we're going to talk about tying your shoelaces the way you did in kindergarten. First of all, you need the right shoelaces. You want thin cotton laces. Don't go with nylon. They may be good for your tennis shoes, not for Oxfords. If you're interested in getting high quality shoelaces, such as these ones in round and flat in 15 different colors, click here. If you're like me, you probably learned to tie your shoes in a way and you learned it at a very young age and you never thought about it because it worked. So the traditional way of tying your shoes is having the knot and then you form the loop, you go once around and you pull it through. Now that's actually similar to a bow tie and when you look at it a little more closely, you can see that it's slightly angled, doesn't go from left to right, and if you actually pull on the outside of the shoe, you can see how the entire knot points up and down rather than left to right. The better way to tie your shoes is to start with the same knot, you form the loop with your right hand, but instead of going this way, you now just go the other way and form the loop. Now, it may seem like this is exactly the same thing as you did before, but look at the result. It goes from left to right, and if you pull on your shoe, actually what happens is it tightens your knot, it doesn't loosen it, and the knot stays in place. This means you won't have to retie your shoes anymore, because when you actually move, every time your knot gets tighter, and secondly, it just looks very nice because it stays in the same shape from left to right. So with this simple life hack, you not only create a better looking result, but you also have shoelaces that are tied more purposefully and last longer.